Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on mysterious and weird true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 166, written by Chinky Mac. A kid and his show make a brief return in the dead of night. So this happened to both my husband and I. Some backstory. My eight-year-old son just recently started sleeping in his own room, which is across the master bedroom. To get him used to it, we leave his door and our door open with the hallway light on so we can hear everything from his room. That night, he watched the TV show Jesse before going to bed. My husband and I can clearly hear it and he turned it off around 9.30pm, yelled his goodnights and I love yous, and went to bed. I woke up and I guess it's what woke me up, to the sound of Jesse playing, like somebody's watching TV. It was only for a few seconds though, then the sound of it was gone. So I wasn't sure if I dreamt it or imagined it, because I'm pretty sure I was still half asleep. I checked my phone and it was around 4am. I just laid there for a few seconds, processing everything, when my husband woke up besides me and I said to him, I woke up and I thought I heard Jesse. And he says, yeah it's Jesse, I heard it too. I think it's what woke me up. So my husband got up to check my son's room and of course the TV was off. All TVs were off in the house. It's just so random and yet we have no explanation as to why we both heard it. I mean if it was just him or me, we could have chalked it up to a waking dream. Case Notes, file number 166. So I read the comment here asking if perhaps your son was bored and tried to watch TV for a few seconds. At 4am though, that seems unlikely. But you said that your son says he never turned it on and that he was scared and that if he was scared he'd just come to your room. He's only 8 so that's not unusual. What does strike me as odd is it's 4am. I wouldn't expect any 8 year old to wake up that early, switch the TV on for a few seconds, then off, then lie to his parents about it. It could happen, just not what I would have done. To the realm of the unusual, it could be a spirit accidentally triggering the TV. Electrical devices often go haywire near them, even without their input. Case file number 167, written by Loki the Coyote. A new farmhouse and a family moving in, only they don't see us there. Some friends and I used to drink in this really old, abandoned, dilapidated farmhouse that was about a half hour walk out of our hometown, Coaldale, Alberta, Canada. It was a place we could drink and chill at night and not have to worry about cops and stuff like that, although the house itself was a bit dangerous. It was just about ready to collapse for sure. We always sat on the top floor as it had the least amount of debris and had a nice wide open area where we could all sit in a circle. We'd bring a flashlight, but would turn it off once we got to our little area upstairs, just in case someone happened to drive by and notice something suspicious might be happening. Although not even once did a car drive by, ever, on any night we were there. If they did, it would be very noticeable. It was miles away from any light sources and was dead quiet other than the crickets chirping. Anywho, one night, pretty sure it was a Saturday, probably around 2 or 3 AM. A group of 7 or 8 of us, we hear the door open and some chatter. We were like, oh crap, and quickly hid our booze sat as still and quiet as we could and hoped they didn't come upstairs. But they did. And this is where it got weird. Although it was dark with no lights, we could easily see each other across the room because of the moon and starlight. This Hutterite family, they're sort of like Amish folk, all basically wear the same style of clothes and live in colonies and farms and stuff like that, comes walking up the stairs. They were chatting to each other but it wasn't in English. I think it might have been German but I really can't say. Except the two little girls, I'd guess around 6 or 7, they were speaking in English to each other. They come into our open room and started looking around. We were crapping our pants at this point. There is no way in hell they wouldn't be able to see us all just sitting there in a circle. But they didn't. They would look right at you, but through you, like we didn't even exist. At one point, one of the little girls was standing right in front of me, said excitedly, This is going to be my room. We are all just sitting there, frozen solid, looking at each other like, is this really happening? They continued to kind of just walk around and look at stuff. 
it seemed like they were checking out a new house they were going to move into or something. But if you saw the state of the house, you'd know 100% that was not the case. It was far beyond any possibility of repair, and it was also 3am on a Sunday. So they walked around for about 10 minutes, just chatting away. Seemingly completely oblivious to us. And again, there is no way they couldn't see us. But finally, they walked back downstairs. We heard the door open and shut, and silence. No vehicle driving away, nothing, just crickets. We were all like, what the hell did that just happen? Where the hell did they even go? A few of us decided to investigate. We go down the stairs with our trusty flashlight, go outside, and there's nothing, no vehicle, no tire tracks in the gravel, no people, no vehicle driving away, just nothing at all. This wasn't even a minute after we heard the door shut. If they were on foot, they wouldn't have made it far. If they were driving, we would have seen or heard the vehicle pull up and also drive away, as this was flat, open, prairie grassland. You can see for miles in any direction. We would have been able to see them walking or driving away without a doubt. Key points that make this event very strange. This house was miles away from any other house. There was no vehicle. It was like we weren't even there. We looked sketchy, seriously. We had mohawks, tattoos, piercings all over our face, leather jackets with nails and stuff of that nature sticking out of them, etc. There was just no way you wouldn't see us in an abandoned house at that time of night and not react in fear, especially with children around. It was like 3 a.m. Why the hell would you walk miles on foot through the mud with young children to come check out an old dilapidated farmhouse at that time of night without even so much as a flashlight? That house is still there, but it's basically sideways now from the wind. There's no freaking way anyone in their right mind was going to try and fix it up. It's been over 20 years now, and everyone who was there is still scratching their heads on it. So strange. Edit. I'm not sure it's still there now, actually. I tried finding it on Google Maps, but all the houses in the area are definitely occupied. But the last time I was in Coaldale about five years ago, my girlfriend and I took a drive to see if it was still there. And it was. I'm thinking it must have been torn down for a new house somewhat recently, unless I'm just looking in the wrong area. We did not expect anything paranormal was happening at any point while the family was there in front of us. They looked 100% real and solid and acted that way too, but it really was like we didn't exist, and they couldn't see the shape the house was in. Then they just walked out the door and kinda slammed it shut. We all heard it loud and clear, but the door was still in the exact same place it was in when we got there, and there were no traces of anyone but us being there, just our footprints going in and nothing going out. Case Notes, file number 167. You know how you play certain video games and there are cutscenes of characters in the world itself that you watch? That's what this reminds me of. Almost like the game devs decided to give you a quick snapshot of the family that lived there the first time they saw it. For instance, that little girl excited as hell that she found her new permanent room. It's such a cool concept. I really wish it was possible to activate this sort of ability whenever we wanted to. I'd just spend my days visiting old buildings or battlefields, basically watching the movie of life as it unfolded all those decades ago. If you enjoyed these stories, give the video a like.